Hi, I'm Mira. Today, I'm going to take you through a class to strengthen the upper back and the shoulder region to assist you to having a good posture and strong back. Let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start in a seated position, cross leg if you can, otherwise you can have your feet in a diamond leg position. And we're going to start with mobilizing our spine. So sitting nice and tall, perching on your sitting bone. We take an inhale through the nose. And as we exhale, we draw in the abdominal muscle and we take our spine into flexion or round back. Inhale, lengthen and taking our upper back towards extension. So your chest is shining up towards the ceiling and forward. We exhale, we flex. Lengthen the spine, inhale. We extend, center. Exhale, we flex. And lengthen the spine and extend. Let's do one more time. Exhale, we round our back and lengthen. Inhale, extending and arch our back and center. Now moving on to a lateral displacement of the rib cage. So as we inhale, I'm going to your right, I'm going to move my ribs, shift it to the right, your right, center, and shift it to my right, your left, center, and shift to the right, your right, and to your left, and exhale. To the right, and to the left, one more each side, to your right and to the left. Come back to center. All right, let's take your arms out to the side here. So your arms are long and in your vision, in your peripheral vision. So from here, allowing the shoulder to just rest down on the armpit girdle here. Your fingertips are together and we're just going to circle. So circle the arms around. And do this movement while maintaining that beautiful strong center and keeping your spine in a nice long position. We'll do five more. And uh, the other way. So what we're doing here, we're just firing up the muscle that supports the shoulder here. Our deltoids and also our lat muscle. And just activating the arm muscle too. So just waking up the area. And let's do five more and release that. All right, let's bring your arms into this position. Right, opening the front of your chest. We're going to exhale, rotating the forearm out to the side and back to center. And here, again, you are opening the front of your chest and also activating our external rotators of the shoulders. So this will keep the, or this will help your chest to stay open. And we close, exhale, open, and keep the elbows in. Exhale, open. Let's do one more and stay out there, stay. And then we're going to do some pulses. So we pulse back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let that go. Interlacing the hands at the back of your head, resting your head into your hands and elbow comes a little bit more forward. So we breathe out, we rotate to your right, my left. Inhale, center. To your left. In breath, center. To your right. To the left. Three more sets. And two more sets. Last set. Last one. Come back here. Take your arms out to the side. Bring the elbows forward here. Again, sitting nice and tall. We open the elbows out to the side here. Now we're going to pass the shoulder, bring the shoulder blades together and activate the rhomboid muscles between the scapula. Open the scapula and we close. I'm going to turn myself to the back so you know what's happening with the shoulder here. 
I open my elbows to the side. I pass, I bring my elbow past my shoulder, squeezing my shoulder blades together, opening my shoulder blades apart and return. I open the elbows and I bring it back, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the shoulder blades apart and front. And open and we squeeze. I open and front. I open and we squeeze. I open and close. Three more out. Squeeze in, open out, and close. Two more out, squeeze in, open out, and close. Last one, squeeze in, stay. Now stay here, now pull the elbows back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Open the shoulder blades away and come forward. Well done. All right, let's take ourselves to a quadruped position here. Heel of the palm and the shoulders align, knee and your hip align. Chest is nice and open, the spine is long in a neutral position. What we're going to do is we're going to glide the shoulder blades to each other. So we're going to drop the chest towards the floor, keep the arms long, just exactly what we just did before, and then push the shoulder blade apart, pulling that center, support your trunk. And elbows, keep nice and straight, shoulder blades together, Push the shoulder blades apart, pull the center in. And again, inhale, we drop. Exhale, push apart. Inhale, shoulder blades come together. Push away. Two more, in breath. Exhale, press out. Last one, in breath. Exhale, press out. Now keep the shoulder blades apart here. Pull the abdominal wall in. Take your left hand behind your head. We're going to rotate the upper back, the thoracic, and then open back to center, and then open the chest, rotate to the sky, and center. So I'm have my left elbow going towards my right arm, center, and I rotate the trunk, open the chest, two more, and rotate towards the right, center, open the chest, and last one, rotate towards the right, and center, and up, and release back. Right, got my right hand behind my head. I'm rotating to the left, and opening to the ceiling, and center, rotating to the left, center, and to the ceiling, Let's do two more times and we rotate. We open to the sky and center. Last one, we rotate. We open and to the sky and back to center and release the hand. Now keeping the spine nice and long here, let's move on to our cat stretch. So we breathe out, we pull the center, pull the abdominal muscle in and flex the spine. Back to the neutral spine and continue the journey towards upper back extension, keeping your neck long and pushing the floor away to a spinal flexion, into a flat back and upper back extension and center, into spinal flexion and flat back into spinal extension or thoracic extension to be exact and one more time and round and flat and thoracic extension and center well done sit the pelvis back to your heels for a moment and stretch your arms forward for rest position and let's roll the spine up and rotate your body facing me Okay, so I have my right hand underneath and I have my legs together here. Keep my left arm up to by my, by my side. So pulling my center in here, we're going to do a modified side plank here. So as we breathe up, press the hand, activate the arm muscles, the armpit muscle and the lower oblique muscle. We lift our body 
we take the arm up, the top arm up to the ceiling, and we come down. Now here, what's going to happen is you're going to bend the supporting elbow, and we're going to push back. And again, lifting the pelvis, the hips up, and then down. Bend the bottom elbow, we push up, and we lift, and we come down, bottom elbow, and we press away. One more time, we lift, and down, elbow bend, we press, and we'll go to the other side. Okay, so same thing into a side lift, a modified side lift, a side plank. We lift the hips, the pelvis, and we come down. Bend the elbow, we press away. We lift and release. Bend and we press. We lift and release. We bend and lift and lift and release and fold the elbow. We push. Let's do one more time. We lift and down. We bend and release. Well done. Let that go and let's go to our front here. So we're going to facing the front, the mat. Let's bring one hand stacked on top of the other. In position we call, or I call it diamond press position. Your shoulders are wide, your elbows are wide, your legs are long behind you. Your feet are together or hip width distance apart. Now glide the shoulder blades apart and then just float your forehead over your hand. Now from here, we're going to pick up the belly, we're going to glide the shoulder blades down and we're going to gently lift the thoracic, the upper back up into extension here. And then release down and then glide the shoulder blades to the mid back, pick up the belly and then lift the upper back. Keeping your neck nice and long, keeping your legs active, pushing away from the pelvis and we come down again we glide the shoulder blades we lift the upper back so you i want you to feel that muscle in the mid back so your thoracic your middle thoracic not thoracic trapezius i'm sorry and then come down your mid trapezius muscles activated as you lift the spine up and one more time and glide the shoulder blade and hold that extension here. Now I like you to hold the position, then lift the arms off the floor to your forehead, and then we lower. And try not to drop the chest down as you lift the arm. And again, lift and lower. Glide the shoulder blades down, hold your center, and lower. Three more, lift and lower, two more, lift, and lower, last one, lift, and lower, and lower everything down. All right, now lift the upper back up, and just come up a little higher, I want you to interlace the fingers, your hands together, elbows slightly wider than the shoulder, you're going to lift the trunk up, Pick up the abdominal to support your spine. Your gaze is directly down towards the floor here and keeping your neck long. Now let's move on to single leg kick here. So we lift both legs off the floor, hold the belly, and let's go right leg kicking, left leg. Now inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and inhale, let's pick up the pace, and and three more sets, 
two more. Shh, 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 shh. Last. Shh. Extend both legs straight off the floor, hold the center, hold the upper back and release down, lower the feet down. Bring your forearm to the side of your body, like so. Now here, we're gonna move on to our breaststroke. So I'd like you to really think about gliding the shoulder blades down to your lower spine here, engage your legs. Now from here, we're going to lift the chest up into the extension, so your arm comes with you. Extend the arms forward, open to the side, lift a little higher perhaps, bend the elbows and lower the trunk down. Inhale, we lift. Extend, open to the side. Exhale to come down. It's a long inhalation here. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, in breath. Exhale, well done. All right, push the floor away, pull the belly in. Just go to your rest position for a quick break, a quick rest, in breath. Exhale, and roll yourself back up to your seated position. And the last exercise for today, let's go back to our quadruped position. What we're going to do is a modified push-up. So align your shoulders and your hands, knees in the center of the hip, keep the chest open. Here, I want you to bend the elbows back, send your chest forward, keep the shoulder broad, and bring your body, bring your face towards the floor, and then push down. So you are hinging at the hip joint, you keep your whole spine straight, you push away, pull that center. And on three, exhale. See if we can do 10 here. Four, exhale. You may not go as well as I'm doing, that's all right. If you just go halfway and maintain the whole alignment, and that's fantastic. Let's go again, down, exhale and down, exhale, and seven, eight, two more, nine, and last ten, well done. Sit the pelvis back, the rest positioned, and stretch the arms long, and then roll yourself up to sit it position. Excellent. Thank you for joining me for the class today. I hope that helps to strengthen your back, your upper back and your shoulder and I hope you enjoy the class and I wish you a great day. Thank you. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best. If you enjoyed this video, click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you my favorite Pilates for total strong body members only workout. This workout will open, stretch and strengthen your entire body. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my free videos. See you in the next class.